Okay, so let's let's make it a little harder here, right? Let's find what the latent heat is. Okay, now the formula we're going to use is Q equals ML, right? This is our latent heat effusion. Here's our mass, and they tell us the mass. They've got to tell you the mass. You can't get the mass from the graph, right? And we're going to read the 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 Q off of the graph. Okay, so let's let's do it for fusion. Okay, fusion is this little guy right here. It's melting right here. It was a solid here here. It's a liquid here. It's solid plus liquid, right? So I'm using the formula Q equals ML. And the heat that flows in, uh, it stops at 200. It starts at 50, right? So I think right there, that's 150 joules. Right? So really, it's, it's uh, Q is kind of like a delta Q. It's how much heat flowed in, right? So you read the graph. You got it. It might help to draw like straight lines. I'll use my straight edge here. There you go. I just put, hold a ruler on this thing, right? All right. So there it is. 150 joules from 50 to 200 is 150, right? And then the mass is 0 0.013. And then L is what we don't know, right? So 150. Let's try this. You can't even see my calculator. There it is. Uh, 150 divided by 0 0.013 is uh, 11,538. And that's just joules per kilogram. Okay, so that is our, our latent heat of fusion, right? And uh, indeed, that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, so let's figure out our vaporization. Let's spell it the British way. <laughs> I think they spell it that way. Okay. Um, for vaporization, that's this guy right here. Okay. So again, we're going to do the same thing. It's going to be Q is ML, right? The Q that flows in is 100, 250, right? So 250 joules equals 0 0.013 kilograms times L. So now I'm going to go 250 divided by 0 0.013 and I get 19,230.7 joules per kilogram okay so that's that's what that's supposed to be now with with sig figs if we have it looks like here we've got three sig figs right I think we could argue that we maybe know these to three sig figs so if we had to round these to sig figs we'd have to say uh, 11 thousand five hundred joules per kilogram and then this guy would be nineteen thousand two hundred joules per kilogram ta-da that's latent heats small dogs